colleges exist to indoctrinate and create robots to serve the system that was built by the people in power. Talk about that one. Uh, well, yeah, anymore, it, it, a long time ago, uh, I think it was Khrushchev, pretty sure it was him, he basically said they were going to take over our country and they were going to do it by hijacking the educational system. He came right out and said it, out in the open. And that is ac absolutely what's happened. And colleges anymore, they don't teach you how to think. They teach you what, what to, to think. What to think, that's right. And that's indoctrination. And as soon as, you know, and it's, it's permeated in, in everything. The last college classes that I took uh, was in contract law. And it had worked its way into that. Is that right? And how many years ago is that? Um, I was just taking some some extra courses here, so that's been about ten years ago. Yeah, and uh, it's just it, it's just crazy. And you know, to create robots to serve the system that was built by the people in power. I mean, let's face it: most uh, higher level jobs now. Uh, well, well, we'll look at academia itself. So you become a teacher. So what do you, what's the first thing you need to do once you become a teacher? Well, you need to continue your education and, and get a master's. Yep. And then once you have the master's for a while, what do you, what do you have to do then? Well, if you stay there, well, eventually you have to continue your education. You have to get yep. a doctorate. Yep. So it's created the system that absolutely requires that you keep feeding it. Yep. And Ponzi. It, it's, a, it's a Ponzi scheme in a lot, a lot of ways, yeah. So this makes me think of uh, the whole college thing. A recent, um, a recent article or, uh, I don't know, I probably saw it on Twitter or something like that. But uh, no, actually I heard it on Dan Bongino. Um, Stanford Law School. Did mm -hmm. you see this one? Oh, is that where the, the judge went in the there? The Trump appointed judge went yeah. in there. And this is this is how these communist uh, robots they don't they're not interested in debate or civilized discourse between one another and you know, talking things out and and uh, they shout down their yes. opponents. They they uh, cancel their opponents. They uh, threaten and get up in the mugs as uh, Maxine yep. Waters wants you to do. Um, that's their that's their way of uh, to being tolerant and you yes. know, coexisting. Which is is interesting because one of the things that you're supposed to learn in college is how to think, and part of that thinking is is critical thinking, and the best way to do that is through differences of opinion. Right. That that conversation, discourse, debate. They refuse to allow debate to occur. Yep. They, you know, the message has to be one-sided and it has to be self-feeding. It has to be a self-feeding feedback loop. Echo chamber. An echo chamber. Yep. And we've got some, uh, I'm thinking about um, maybe uh, not saying this comment on air. Sammy P says, I actually learned some good homesteading tips on TikTok. I think we should cancel Sammy P. What <laughs> do you think? Okay, I... I <laughs> I won't go that far. <laughs> There's no matter what the platform is, there is some good no, that's on true. there. That's so true. I we probably shouldn't completely slam TikTok. I'm just kidding, but, Sammy P. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this clip from the Craig's Gun Channel Random Shots program. Uh, the program airs Thursdays at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. On Random Shots, we discuss content from ranging anything from preparedness, uh, survival politics, uh, firearms, basically anything that's 2A related, uh, with sometimes some rabbit trails on things that aren't related at all. Uh, if you enjoy this type of programming, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we release new content. And if you like it, hit the like button and the share us if you would as well. It helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow and helps get our message out. So I guess uh, until next time, stay safe.